Today we're going to make onion tarts. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make onion tarts. Taking something as simple and lowly as the humble onion, pie dough, and a couple herbs, primarily thyme. I'm going to show you how to make something that's really a fantastic, beautiful, delicious vegetarian main course. This is one of those recipes that's so fantastic for a crowd. If you're cooking and you have a bunch of people coming for dinner, the last thing you want is to be in the kitchen cooking. So you can make these ahead of time, have them in your refrigerator on a sheet tray, and bake them off just minutes before dinner. It's a really fantastic dish. For starters, you want to cut your onion horizontally. This is the onion, um, the green stem end, and this is the root end. And so we want to slice it right down the middle. And then trim off any of the roots. You don't want to cut so much that your onion falls apart, but you don't want that hard little nib on the end either. So this is what we have. Remove the leaves from Say one, um, let's do two twigs of thyme. Set your frying pan over medium low heat and add about two tablespoons of clarified butter. Now, if you don't have clarified butter, you can use half olive oil and half butter. What the oil does is it brings that burning temperature of butter up so that your onion will brown before the butter burns. Clarified butter has the milk solids removed, and that's what actually burns, not the butter fat. So this is just pure butter fat, and you can fry high heat and not run the risk of burning your butter. Now, I have made a video on how to clarify butter, as well as how to make basic all butter pie crust. And I'm gonna put a link to those videos at the end of this one. Once your butter is nice and hot, go ahead and add the thyme to your pan and place your onions cut side down on the thyme. Turn the heat up to about medium low and you're gonna cook them without disturbing them for about 10 or 15 minutes until the onion starts to caramelize and get nice and golden brown. Now while our onions are cooking and doing their thing, we're gonna roll out our pie crust. I wanna make individual circles that are slightly larger than the diameter of our onion. What our objective is, is to take these pieces of crust and just drape them over the rounded side of the onion, and then we're going to bake them in the oven until they get nice and puffy and golden brown. You invert your tart and serve. So this is a standard pie crust, one crust, and I'm gonna cut this into quarters, and that'll give us more than enough um, overlap to cover our onion. Flour your workspace and your dough. Now I wanna keep these nice and round, so I just wanna be mindful of the um, maintaining the shape as I roll. And if you start from the middle and you roll out, and turn and continue, you'll have a better chance getting a round crust. Now this is an optional step, but you can do a cream wash or an egg wash, and you just paint the top of your pastry with either cream or egg, and it just creates a really nice golden brown finish. We're just gonna bake these for about 30 to 35 minutes until the crust is nice and golden brown. And I went ahead and paired this with 
some roasted winter squash with cinnamon, chilies, and crispy sage. Beautiful individual onion tarts. And if you have crust made up in your freezer, these come together in just minutes. So enjoy it and um, thanks for being here. If you want to help support the channel, hit the thumbs up button. It really does help. See you next time. You guys, I don't even know, I don't even know what to say. I don't have words to say um, how I'm feeling or express the amount of love and concern and beauty and kindness and prayers and light and wonderfulness that you've shown me. I'm I'm so touched by you. Um, our family has been so blessed by you. So thank you. Thank you, thank you. Some of you are new subscribers that came over after the accident. Accident. <laughs> um, so this is Turbo. You probably don't know Turbo. Turbs is my uh, baby chicken that I love so much. As a thank you to you, I put together some videos that I think you might enjoy. The video in the top left is how to make ghee, a clarified butter. This is the butter that I referenced in the video that you can cook really high heat with um, without fear of burning it. And in the bottom left is the pie crust video. Now I shot it the other day and um, one of my cameras, my main camera, actually didn't write to the video card. So bear with me on that one. I'm going to have to redo that video but I can't add it in um, at a later time. So this is the placeholder and it should be up in a couple days. What's today? Um, the 8th, the 7th of November, 2014. So if you're watching four or five days after this date, that video link will be live and will take you to my all butter crust. It is so simple and you'd have a hard time finding a flakier, tastier, more tender, Crust recipe. The video in the top right is for CFBs. Sorry, I have a little bit of a list with my tooth missing, but um, <laughs> campfire burritos, my favorite, favorite campfire meal. And the link in the bottom right will go to the Indiegogo site to support my surgery. How this came about is my friend Paul, Joe Bonobodo, um, ask if he could support me and if he could give to a fund to raise money to cover the cost of repairing this. Um, I thought it was a wonderfully gracious gesture, but I, I just didn't, I didn't feel comfortable setting something like that up. Immediately, Michael and Claire from the YouTube channel Fish Townies responded saying that they also would like to chip in and donate money um, and that Michael was willing to set up a site. If you do feel inclined, all of my medical expenses are detailed and I sent over the estimate invoices to Michael um, and he set this all up on his own. But um, we have catastrophic insurance because it's so expensive to insure yourself. And so our deductible is $10,000 and fortunately this will all be less than $10,000 but none of it will be covered by insurance so it will all be out of pocket. I'm grateful for you Michael, thank you. The link is there and you can give if you would like.